Hey there, everybody. Steve from Chief Skills and saw this post on the Chief Experts Training Academy Facebook page by Nick LeBlanc wanting to know how to build this angle top door. So I'm going to show you an easy and a fat, uh, easy and a hard way and we'll see which way works best for you. Let's take a look. Okay, let's let's get into this and I'll show you how I would make this door. There's an easy way and a hard way. We're going to do the hard way first. And the first thing I'm going to do is break these walls right here and maybe right here. Open it and make it invisible. So I can see through here. Next thing I'm going to do is... Uh, I'm going to leave that for now. So we will do a back clip cross section right through here so we can catch the wall and there you have it now you would think you could draw this with polyline solids right here on this wall but it's hard to get snaps uh, sometimes you can get them and sometimes you don't so what I like to do is to send this and create a CAD detail from view right here CAD detail from view is fantastic uh, people I don't think use it enough and the next thing I do is hit Control A and select everything, open it up, and change the line style. And I use audio video because it's I hardly ever use that. And I change the color to a light gray. And I would lock it, but I need I need a line first, so I'm going to leave this not locked at this for the second and just go like that. Now. We don't really need to lock it to do what I'm going to do here. The first thing I'm going to do is draw a polyline. So just go up here and get this tool. Go a rectangular polyline. Click here on the floor. Don't worry about dimensions right now. And I would just go three and a half. Hit, you hit your tab key and you can do this by 80. That be the side rail of your door. Then I'm going to do another polyline here and make it 30 by it doesn't matter. Then I'm going to take this. I'm going to copy it and reflect it about. And then I am going to make the bottom piece and I am going to make that seven and a quarter tall. And, the, and then these. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click this and I'm gonna draw a line right here first to make sure I got this. I, want to, I just want to keep it at 80 if I can, and I think it might change. I'm going to click that line. I'm going to click this tool. I'm actually going to double click it and rotate selected edge only. And then I'm going to pick up the bottom of the stairs here. See how it moves. So uh, I'm just going to pull this down to snap right there. And then I'm going to take a line and just draw a line here. Click here. Click on the par Make Parallel tool. And then go point to point, maybe right here and like that. Then I'm going to pull this down, snap it right there, and snap it right there. Then I'm going to do another polyline and make it like this, minus three and a half, top rail here. And I am going to double click this. This tool, by the way, is the Make Parallel tool right here. And if you double click it, you get this box. So you can say rotate only the edge or rotate the entire polyline. I want polyline. And I want the entire polyline. So I'm going to do this and make it parallel with that. And I'm going to take this point to point. And I'm going to take this point and click it right here. And I'm going to pull this beyond a little bit and then click it right there. And then drag this one up to right there. And the same over here, click right here, then just drag this point right to here. And we pretty much have our door. We don't need these lines. And um, that's an 80 inch door and um, you can change the height later. So let's just let's just go with this for now. And I'm going to draw a 45 degree angle here and put one more of these in here and make it three and a half in the y direction so now we have our 
styles and rails. So what we're going to do is click on each one of these, hold your shift key down, hit command C and copy them, go back to your cross section view, hit paste and hold position, which is control alt V. While they're still highlighted, go down here and click the convert to polyline tool. Select polyline solid. It'll open up and let's just make it an inch and a half thick. It doesn't really matter at this point. And if you go back to the floor plan view, it should be drawn against the wall, which it is. See it right here? And um, that's how it'll work typically. So we need our panels. We need these panels inside here so we can go with a polyline. I have a hotkey for polylines, one, two. So I don't even reach for the tool generally. And I just type one and two in my with my left hand and I've got it. So now I'm going to select that and select that. Hit control C, go back to my section, control alt V, come down here, convert polyline solid. And let's make that a half inch thick. OK, now you're going to find that they're not in the right place. So we go down here and we select this. So did you see what happened here? I, I clicked and it's click. It, just hit your tab. And it didn't select it. Oh, there it did. OK, and then take your. Let's see, where is it? I, I don't use it, so I forget where these tools are. Um, here, center object tool. <laughs> and I can't pick up a snap on this. OK. There we go. OK, so we can't get this snap for some reason. So I'm, I'm going to draw a line and just draw it right here. All right. And then I'm going to pick up this snap again if I can and center it on this, which it would not do for some reason, probably because it's not a long enough line. There we go. Take this one. Look at this one's way out here and center it here. And that didn't seem to work. You know what I'm going to do? Oh, I've moved my stairs. <laughs> I am going to turn the stairs off. They're in my way. <laughs> OK, why didn't I do that to start with? OK. And now I can center it. There you go. Take this one and center it using the center object tool, which is right here. I have uh, a hotkey for it, so I never even use it. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so now we have our basic door panel there. So just let's take a look here. Oh, yeah, made out of concrete. Looks really good. So let's just pick up this color, our trim color, and paint the styles. OK, and the rails. And then I'm going to paint the panels a different color. I have this do in here, I think, somewhere. Uh, no, I don't. Uh, well, I thought I did. Maybe I forgot to get it. We'll just do this right here. And we'll paint the panels that. And the reason I like to do that is when you save this as a symbol now, you can paint this styles and rails one color and the panels another, or you can paint the whole thing the same color. But if you paint them, the same sometimes you don't have that option so i just paint things differently um so there's our symbol really so now cl just click on all the objects styles and rails first then the panels and you come down here to the bottom of the bar and it says convert select to symbol just click that and we're going to make it a door show advanced options and I'm going to call this door slant one. I like to change this smoothing angle to about 20. Don't ask me why. It just looks better sometimes. And the only other thing you need to do here is put in a stretch plane in the middle. I think I, I, I'm not testing that right now. But and then this one may be about 38. You want it above this rail. See this? Um, this is a great thing in X11. They gave us these indicators here. 
so we can see where they are. So it will stretch from this point up and leave our square bottom. And then just say OK, and it'll go into your library right there. Then if we, um, let's just move our symbol out of the way right now. So I'm going to use the this object over here to select just contained and just do this. And I'm going to move that symbol out here somewhere. And then I am going to go back to this elevation and wrap around over here. Now we're looking at this. And I am going to go to my library here, get my door and put it like right here. And you're going to say, well, that doesn't look right. And you would be right. First of all, I'm going to change the swing like that. And then I'm going to open this up. And here's where the magic is. Click on Arch. Go down here to Tutor Arch. And put it on the left side and make this about 19 inches. That's not enough. 21 inches, 22 inches, close enough. And there is your door and you can just pull this top up. And you see it didn't stretch the bottom when we did that. So it stretches only the top. That's what that stretch plane does. And uh, the other thing is the hardware for some reason is in the wrong place. Maybe uh, I have a default screwed up. I'm just going to make one and a half. And there you have it. Um, and so that's the hard way, making your own, because you may want to make a more custom symbol. But if you just need a panel door, there's, there's what it looks like under the stair. If you just want to make a door, <laughs> it's this really, it's this easy. Go up here to your tool, select hinge door, and just drop it in right here. Let's reverse it. And then open it for dot specification. Just open it up. Go to the general tab. Select panel. Okay. Then go to the arch tab. Select tutor. Left. And what was it? 22 inches or something. And you are done. It's that simple. And uh, it's just as good as what I did probably. And go to the hardware page here and change this to like one and a half and um, now I don't think you can paint this two different colors if you paint it yeah it's just going to paint one color which is you know it's going to be fine most of the time but that was a lot faster and some of these hinges are always going to be screwed up on this symbol too well on mine too uh, they just don't work so I would suggest you go to the hardware page here and just hide them so you can't see them unless it's important to you. And maybe you can get a symbol out of the library and just put them where you want. Um, but there you have it. Two ways to create that slanted door hard and easy. And um, I'd probably go for the easy way most of the time unless you want something custom over here. And you can make raised panels if you've got the time with polyline solids. And you can see how difficult it would be. And you'd probably pay thousands just to get a door like that. So... Uh, I don't I don't really know what you wanted, but there's a fast and an easy way using a symbol. And so I hope this video helps. Have a great day. See you guys.